I think it's time for Austin McBroom to, I don't know, throw away the boxing gloves and never get in the ring again. Because I don't think he got hurt as bad as he said he did. I think he used it as, as an excuse to get out of this fight. To get out of any more fights, because if he broke his leg like they're saying, he ain't going to fight anymore. Like, ain't the next mat, the next uh, show in like three months? So, something bothers Oh, anyways, let's read this. First and foremost, I want to thank God. Thank you for giving me another opportunity. I also want to thank those who've been supporting me through my boxing journey. Uh, means the world to me, truly. Not sure if I will be able to continue this boxing tournament, but always know I love you all. Lastly, Anisan Gibbs, you are better. You better win this damn tournament, champ. You deserve it. So there you go. Showing some respect, but I'm pretty sure he's going to come up with some lame ass excuses again why he didn't win this fight. He made excuses for the last one. He's going to make excuses for this one. And then we're going to get another one. Uh, I don't even. I don't think anybody wants to see Austin McBroom versus Nissan Gibbs 3. Nobody wants to see that. And then if Austin did pick up a win, we'd have to see another fight. Because he lost two and he only won one. And then we'd have to see. We could see Austin McBroom versus... Uh, a Nissan Gibb until they're 85 years old. If <laughs> Let's hope that doesn't happen.